Hello and welcome to Eco Elsa. Welcome back my returners and if you're new and don't know me, my name is Elsa and I make videos to help all of you get outdoors. Often you can feel overwhelmed or pessimistic when learning about all these different environmental issues we face and it's understandable. There is a lot going on, on the planet that we need to start making some changes to so that way we have a better quality of life and future generations have some things on these planet that we enjoy now that they'll still be able to enjoy then. I'm going to leave you guys with three different tips to help you when teaching about environmental education since as you may have noticed a lot of it's doom and gloom as well as three different resources that are full and full of just tons of information and materials and things for you to use when teaching about environmental education no matter what the topic is or where you live in the world. So number one is practice self-care. Now even I, a naturally very optimistic, positive, go-getter type person, am practicing self-care each week. I work in environmental education, I'm spending a lot of my time talking about these environmental issues with people, and just kind of being the Debbie Downer of the group going, oh well climate change this, and deforestation that. So. To keep my naturally upbeat personality and smile on my face, I practice self-care each week. So what I'm doing is I'm doing meditation, I'm spending time doing art and coloring, putting aside time so I can go for walks and hikes, and putting aside some time to watch some TV shows or movies that are just feel good, warm fuzzy, get my heart going, and feel good about the world and people again. And that's what works for me. It might be different for you, but I do highly recommend if you're gonna work in environmental education or if you're going to be spending a lot of time talking about these issues, you put aside some time for self-care. As well as if you're going to be working with a group of people, whether they're little children up to adults, talking about environmental issues nonstop, maybe put aside just, just five, 10 minutes each week so that your students can enjoy just a little bit of self-care in a room that's bringing them so much doom and gloom. Ha, lots of rhyming, perfect. Number two, take time to learn about all the different environmental leaders and educators who've gone before you or are currently working on environmental issues. Let them and their stories help encourage and inspire you to keep going and to help them with tackling whatever the issue is or whatever it is you are teaching about in class. And the third and final tip I'm going to leave you with is actually two quotes that I use to remind myself on my darkest and gloomiest of days where I don't want to talk about any kind of environmental issue because I feel like what's the point to environmental education? These two quotes have always helped me pick myself up, dust myself off, and keep going, keep fighting. So the first quote is, Rome wasn't built in a day, but they were laying bricks every hour. And that's by John Haywood. And the second quote is, we will never have a perfect world, but it's not naive or romantic to work toward a better one. And that's by Steven Pinker. And these two quotes are what helps me pull myself up on the lowest of low days when looking at all the different environmental issues we face and helps remind me that even if I can just find one small thing that I can do to help the planet and help with an environmental issue is better than nothing. And I'll do this one small thing today and tomorrow we'll wake up and we'll try try again laying those bricks, working a little bit more, making the world just a little bit better day by day. So those are my very basic tips for you guys. If you're curious about anything else, self-care, what helps me stay positive with all of this doom and gloom in the environmental field, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you. Maybe I'll do a video about it in the future. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's something that interests you guys, but we will see. Just let me know. Now for the three resources to help you with teaching environmental education. The very first one is the North American Association for Environmental Education. On their website they have a ton of resources, whether you're an environmental educator, a teacher, a parent, there's something for everyone, as well as they also do webinar trainings on different uh, resources, on different teaching things, tons and tons of stuff. So I highly recommend checking them out for more resources to help you with teaching about environmental education. The second one is the EcoSchools website, and they're ran through the Foundation for Environmental Education, which is around the globe. And with them, you can find tons of resources for uh, environmental schools and teaching, as well as different materials 
and worksheets and things to also help you with teaching about environmental education and environmental issues. And the third and final one is the National Wildlife Federation. They also have a ton of resources. They have everything from articles and research about different wildlife and things happening in the world to here's activities, here's worksheets, here's programs and things that you can do or restoration work you can do at your home to help make the world a better place. As well as they are the people behind Ranger Rick. So if anything, check out maybe getting that magazine for your littles at home or your classroom. As well as if you were looking for more information, more resources for environmental education and getting your kids outdoors, check out joining my newsletter email list. We only send one to two emails a month, one email being full of resources, the other one being full of news and programs and things that we're offering with Eco Elsa. As well as this month where the focus is environmental education resources. So as well as including those three big websites I gave you, the list also has tons and tons of other resources and places that you can find things so that you can literally teach about anything and everything um, about the outdoors in your classroom or at home, different activities and things for you to do. So I highly recommend checking that out. If you're looking for more opportunities to teach about environmental education or different environmental issues, check out a previous video I did about Outdoor Classroom Day, link below, otherwise link up above. And in this video, we talk about this great thing called Outdoor Classroom Day, which happens every May and November. And it's all around the world, different teachers and schools and classrooms signing up to get their kids outdoors learning. So check that out, link below. For any of you at home, if you would like a video dedicated to you, head on over to Etsy and purchase some of our artwork. Otherwise, in the comments below, leave a video suggestion and if we do that video, we'll give you a shout out. So unfortunately, that is all we have for you guys today. We hope you liked today's video. If you have more questions or you're looking for a specific resource, leave it in the comments below. Love to talk to you. As well as our giveaway is still going on. So if you want to get entered into the giveaway to win some cool prizes, go ahead and join our newsletter and check out following our different social media because the giveaway is ending in April and that will be the big giant giveaway. We'll be giving away prizes on all of our different platforms. So check that out. As well as if you're looking for uh, more programs and things to get signed up for to learn more about environmental education and different issues, check out our Eco Elsa website. It's ecoelsa.com link in the description below and there you can find tons of resources and programs and things that we're doing to help you guys get outdoors learning outdoors so as always we hope you guys have a great rest of your week you be safe learn lots have fun and get outdoors we'll see you out there